Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, annual income from salary of Mrs. Usha, who is a senior citizen, is Rs. 3,85,000. She donates Rs. 10,000 to Prime Minister's Relief Fund, 100% exemption, and Rs. 10,000 to the Charitable Society, 50% exemption. She contributes Rs. 70,000 towards PPF annually and she pays quarterly premium of Rs. 3,500 towards life insurance. She also purchases NSC for Rs. 20,000. She pays Rs. 1,600 per month towards the income tax for 11 months. What is her liability for last month of the financial year? Use the following for calculating the income tax and we get 100% exemption for saving up to rupees 1 lakh and this is the slab for the rate of income tax for senior citizens. Let's now move on to the solution and let's see the first step for calculating the income tax. The first step is find the gross income of the SSC. Now the annual income is rupees 3,85,000. Now the second step is to find the amount of donation, if any, eligible for deduction. Now the rebate on those donations She pays, she donates 10,000 to Prime Minister's Relief Fund and gets 100% exemption. Then she also donates Rupees 10,000 to charitable society and gets 50% exemption. So, total. rebate on donators is equal to rupees 10,000 plus 5,000 that is 15,000. Now the third step is find the amount of total savings maximum up to rupees 1 lakh. Now we find the savings made by Mrs. Usha. We are given that she contributes Rs. 70,000 towards PPF annually. She pays quarterly premium of Rs. 3,500 towards life insurance and she also purchases NSC for Rs. 20,000. So the savings are PPF Rs. 70,000 annually then she pays rupees 3500 quarterly premium. So the annual premium is 3500 into 4 that is 14,000 and she purchases NSC for rupees 20,000. So the total savings are rupees 70,000 plus 14,000 plus 20,000 is 1 lakh 4,000. Now the fourth step is subtract the amount Subtract the sum of the amounts obtained in step, step 2 and 
3 from the step 1. So we have to subtract the sum of the amounts obtained in step 2 and 3 from the amount we got in step 1. So step 4 is taxable income. Total income minus the sum of the amounts obtained in second and the third step that is rupees 15,000 plus 1,4,000 Now we are given that savings can be maximum up to Rupees 1 lakh. So we have to make it 1 lakh. So the taxable income is rupees 3 lakh 85,000 minus 1 lakh 15,000 and this is equal to rupees 2 lakh 70,000. Now we'll compute the income tax using this club and here the taxable income is rupees 2,70,000. So the rate of tax will be given by this that is rupees 13,000 plus 30% 30 of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees 2,50,000. So the income tax will be Rupees 13,000 plus 30% 30 of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees. 2,50,000. So this would be rupees 13,000 plus 30% 30 that is 30 by 100 into now the taxable income is 2,75,70,000 minus 2,50,000. Amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees 2,50,000 is 2,70,000 minus 2,50,000. So that gives us rupees 13,000 plus 30 upon 100 into 20,000. And that gives us rupees 13,000 plus 6,000 that is rupees 19,000. So this is the income tax. Now we also have to find the education says which is 2% of the amount of the tax payable. Now the education says is equal to 2% of the amount of tax payable. So it is 2% of rupees 19,000 because tax payable is 19,000. So this would be 2 by 100 into 19,000 and that gives us education says as rupees 380. Now we are given that she pays rupees 1600 per month towards the income tax for 11 months. But before that we need to find the 
टोटल टैक्स पेएबल विच इज ऑप्टेन्ड बाय एडिंग द एजुकेशन सेस टू द टैक्स पेएबल इट इज रुपीज नाइन्टीन थाउजेंड प्लस थ्री एटी एंड दैट बिकम्स रुपीज नाइन्टीन थाउजेंड थ्री एटी नो दैक्स डिडक्टेड एट सोर्सेस एट सोर्स एट दिस टीडीएस फॉर इलेवन मंथ्स is given by rupees 1600 into 11 so that becomes rupees 17600 we have to find the tax payable for the last financial year so she has paid rupees 17600 for 11 months as income tax and total tax payable is rupees 19380 so the net payable income tax for yeah Twelfth month will be total tax payable minus the tax already paid, and that is equal to rupees seventeen hundred eighty. So the answer is. Rupees seventeen hundred eighty. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.